I'm going to show you the best way to update your NVIDIA graphics card driver. Now, using GeForce Experience and just clicking a button to install your new driver can be super easy and convenient for you, but it can sometimes cause issues if not all of that data is erased properly by the GeForce Experience software. So to avoid that issue, I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. The first thing I like to do is follow Trap514MTL on Twitter. What you'll see his Twitter profile up here. So Trap does a really good job of reviewing new drivers as they come out both for NVIDIA and AMD, and he'll post his findings on them, whether they're good and you should upgrade to them, or if you should stay on the one that you currently have. Because, spoiler alert, sometimes the newest one isn't the best one. The next thing you're going to want to do is to download the driver that you want from NVIDIA's website. And in order to get the drivers, all you gotta do is go type in NVIDIA driver download. You can see it there at the top in your browser. First thing should come up, nvidia.com. Then you're just gonna select your GPU. So in this computer, we've got a RTX 4070 with Windows 11. We want the game ready driver since we're gonna be playing games on it. Click search download and then you're gonna have to hit download one more time and you'll see that that new driver is being downloaded. Now that you have the new NVIDIA driver downloaded to your computer, you're going to want to download an application called DDU Uninstaller. So again, just type in DDU Uninstaller. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you download it from Wagnersoft, that's the company that makes it. So click on the newest version, read more, and then scroll down until you see this click here for download and support. And then you can download either the installer or the portable self-extracting one. We're gonna go with the installer. You can see that it downloaded really fast. We'll open that up and install it. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can do this one of two ways. You can run the DDU on installer and then install the new NVIDIA driver before you exit safe mode. Or you can select this box to ensure that Windows does not try and download a new driver before you're able to install the NVIDIA driver that we just downloaded. So click on that, hit close and hit okay. The next thing we need to do is to reboot our computer into safe mode. There's a couple of ways you can do this, but here's the way that I like to do it. I don't want to hit the Windows button plus R. That's going to open up this command. And then you want to type in msconfig, just like that. Hit OK. And then under the boot tab, you're going to select safe boot. And you can leave it on minimal, hit apply, and OK. Now you can either exit without restart if you wanted to get any other things done before you restart it, or you can immediately just hit restart. And now your computer is going to reboot and it's gonna be in safe mode when you restart it. Okay, our computer is rebooted and you can verify in the top right corner here, you'll see that it says safe mode. So we know that we rebooted into safe mode. Next, we're gonna open up DDU Uninstaller. So you can see we have the shortcut to DDU Uninstaller. We're just gonna double click on that. And then all you need to do is select your device. We're trying to remove our GPU driver. So we're gonna select the GPU. It automatically detected that it's an NVIDIA driver, which is perfect. And then all we need to do is hit clean and restart. This is going to remove any associated data with our GPU driver, and then it's gonna reboot our computer. However, before we select clean and restart, we wanna make sure we go back into MS config and enable startup into normal mode instead of safe mode. So let's do that really quick. Again, we're just gonna hit Windows R. MS config's already in there, so we're just gonna hit enter, hit boot, disable safe boot, and apply. Then you can hit OK, and then we'll hit exit without restart. That's going to allow us to do our DDU uninstall, and then we'll restart at the end of that. And we're gonna make sure in our options that DDU uninstaller is still preventing downloads of new drivers. All right, that's still selected. Clean and restart. And you can watch the log there as it goes through all of the different things that it's cleaning up and removing. And once it's done, it should restart on its own. Okay, our computer is restarted now. All we gotta do is install the new NVIDIA driver and we're good to go. Navigate to your downloads tab or wherever you downloaded that new driver and just double click on it. You're gonna say yes. It's gonna show you the path and you hit okay. Now all you gotta do is click NVIDIA graphics driver. You don't need to install GeForce Experience. You can just use the express installation. The custom one is for doing a clean installation which GeForce Experience doesn't do a great job of anyways. So we're just gonna use Express, and now our driver is being installed. One thing to note while it's installing the new GPU driver is your screen might go black and flicker. Another thing to double check is in your display settings in Windows that your monitor is actually set to its max refresh rate because it might default to 30 or 60 Hertz. But once it's all complete, you can see right here, NVIDIA installer is finished. All you gotta do is hit restart now and your computer will reboot. You've now updated your GPU driver in the best possible way. So go get back to gaming and we'll see you in the next video. It can sometimes cause issues when not all of the data is clearly but it can sometimes cause issues when all of the data isn't but it can sometimes cause issues when all of the data isn't cleared proper Ugh. isn't erased properly but it can sometimes cause issues when all of that data isn't re
fucking shit. Erased, 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 erased.